Right then, people, this is a very, very quick lesson. We're going to learn Black Summer by the Red Hot Chili Peppers on the acoustic. That's right, so we're going to do a simplified version just using open chords because a few of you requested it. So this is going out to you. Um, quite an easy one, actually, when you when you strip it down to its bare chords, but um, lovely progression nonetheless. So the original, um, I think, is in E flat, right? So you're going to tune your whole guitar down half a step. I'm going to be teaching it you in standard tuning. I haven't um, deviated. So if you don't want to play along with the original version, then just bear that in mind. You need to tune everything down one fret or half a step. So let's do the intro riff. Basically, it's in all E minor. And the strumming pattern for the most part is going to stay like that for the verse anyway. Okay, so down, down, down. And I'm just putting in the occasional root note. Or you could do. One, two, three, one, two, one, two. Down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down. Entirely up to you, but that will get you in the ballpark of the rhythm that John's playing. Now you can also replicate what John's doing in the second bar if you want. Like that. And that is just, I'm going to keep my, my um, E minor shape there, but I'm going to do a little hammer on from the zero to the second fret on the G string, right? Using my little finger. And then you've got this. Which is a grace note hammer on. And then you do uh, the open A and D and then you hammer on just one finger onto the um, A string. Second fret. So that slowly. And then you do another bar of that. And then what he does is, you can do that here. Or, either way, right? So there I'm on the fifth fret and the third fret on the B and E here. I'm on the seventh and the fifth on the A and D. So you can do that too, right? Then you're going to go into the verse. And let me play it through. Was it twice round. It's the same both times except the third bar you do a slight variation in rhythm. So you do an E minor to a G. Then it's D to A, okay? And that the first time round it goes. One, two, three, one, two, one, two. Then back to the E minor. A minor. Back to E minor. And there you've got a little passing note you can do on the um, uh, second fret on the E. You could actually do the, um, you know, D5 with F sharp in the bass if you wanted. Entirely up to you. I'm just going to do um, the second fret, mute the the A string with a little bit of meat off my second finger and then the D and G open. But it's over and done with quite quickly, so. Back to the G and then to D. Then round again. Now the second time round you play. And 
that is D, D, A, A on the beat. And then the rest is the same. Now, when he goes for that... Um, that cool stuff, you can play this. So that's C to G, all open. And note that each second chord is half as long, right? So I tend to cover the strings on my hand there. Then two on the D, and another little stop. Into an E minor this time, right? So you're gonna get your first finger in there. G to A. Back to E major. And that's that part. Verse round again. Uh, it's the same the first time as you did it before with the second time round again. It does the but then at that point you go to an A major chord and you're going to play this. with that rhythm. So and then you're into the chorus. And this is the last bit. This is all you need. So the chorus then is um, I'll play it around and then I'll um, show you the chords. which is identical to the part you played after uh, over that, right? It's exactly the same the first time, but the second time it just varies slightly. So you play that chunk again, and then the second time around you've just vary it ever so slightly with this. D to A. E. And that's it. So just learn the chords and you're good. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you again soon.